Welcome to the sixth video in the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. This video is about records, relationships, and portals. FileMaker stores all data as records, which comprise a single instance of each field in a table. This section will cover different ways to view records, creating and deleting records, and sorting records. Most table names will describe the type of records contained within them. For instance, a table named person will usually contain information about persons. Generally, one record within the table will represent a person. In FileMaker, records are managed via the Browse or Find mode. In these modes, you can select to display the layout as a form, list, or table by clicking on the View As controls in the top menu pane. As you can see, some views are better suited to certain tasks than others. For instance, the form view is often the most convenient way to enter data, whereas a list view may be useful for printing reports. The table view is the most similar to more traditional database systems such as MySQL. Whilst in browse or find mode, you can create or delete records by using the buttons in the top menu bar. Deleting records is permanent, so make sure you've selected the right record before clicking delete. Finally, you can sort records by clicking on the sort record button. FileMaker will then display a dialog box that will allow you to select the fields you wish to sort by. When adding a field, you can select to either sort records by that field in ascending order, descending order, or by a value list. Value lists will be discussed further in a future video. It should also be noted that you can sort by multiple fields. Records will be sorted by the first field initially, then, if multiple fields have the same value for that field, the next field will be applied. FileMaker will continue down the list of sort fields until either no records share the same sort fields or it exhausts the list of sort fields. Once you've finished selecting the fields you wish to sort by, press OK and you'll see that records have been sorted accordingly. We briefly discussed relationships in the last video. In this video we'll examine them in a little more depth. In this video we'll be covering types of relationships, complex criteria, and cascading changes. To begin with, bring up the Relationships window by selecting File, Manage Database, and click on the Relationships tab. As previously noted, relationships allow you to define how certain base tables or table occurrences relate to one another. In our previous example last time, a wholesaler had one contact assigned to it. This is an example of a one-to-one -one relationship. There are three main types of relationships in most database systems, including FileMaker. A one-to-one -one relationship is a kind of relationship which indicates that a record in one table will be related to, at most, one record in another table. In our example, every one wholesaler will have at most one contact assigned to it. Today we'll be changing this to a one-to-many relationship. A one-to-many relationship specifies that a single record in one table may be related, usually via a foreign key, to many records in another table. Continuing with our example, this is the equivalent of one wholesaler having many contacts. The final type of relationship is a many-to-many -many relationship. This means that a record in one table may be related to multiple records in another table, and that these records in the second table may in turn each be related to many records in the first table. FileMaker only provides support for one-to-many and one-to-one -one relationships. Consequently, to relate two tables via a many-to-many -many relationship will require a junction table which stipulates the relationships. In our current example, a many-to-many -many relationship might involve a wholesaler having many suppliers and the suppliers belonging to many wholesalers. Before continuing on to complex criteria within relationships, we need to update our tables to convert our one-to-one -one relationship between wholesalers and contacts to a one-to-many relationship. To do this, we'll move the foreign key from wholesaler to the contact table. Click on the fields tab and select the wholesaler table. Then, select the contact foreign key and delete it. FileMaker will first confirm that you really wish to delete the field, and then inform you that by deleting the field, you will break an existing relationship. The relationship being broken is the one-to-one -one relationship we're currently converting to a one-to-many relationship, so click yes to both prompts. Next, select the contact table and add a foreign key called zx underscore wholesaler ID. 
The z underscore prefix stipulates that the field is a foreign key. The prefix is merely a naming convention that we use at Real Evolution, so feel free to give the field any name you like, just make sure you can identify it later on. Now, return to the relationships window. We need to establish our one-to-many relationship between wholesalers and contacts. To do this, select the foreign key field in contact and drag it to the wholesaler primary key field. The line drawn represents the relationship. Congratulations, you've successfully created a one-to-many relationship. The next part of this section deals with complex criteria. To manage complex criteria, click on the box in the middle of the relationship. FileMaker will display a dialog allowing you to edit the relationship. The top half of this dialog box pertains to the criteria of the relationship. One criterion will already exist. This was created automatically when we created the relationship. You can add additional criteria or modify the existing one. A criteria must consist of one field from one table occurrence and another field from the second table occurrence. These fields are connected by an operator. This operator specifies the way in which our table occurrences are related. For our purposes, we want the foreign key of the contact table occurrence to equal the primary key of the wholesaler table occurrence. However, this operator can be changed to change which records are matched by a relationship. For instance, if we were to change it to the not equals operator, all contacts that did not have a foreign key equal to the selected wholesaler primary key would be returned. The standard criterion created, however, is sufficient for our example, so we won't add any additional complex criteria. The bottom half of this dialog is presently more useful to us. It contains options about cascading. Cascading basically means that changes made to a record in one table occurrence, if they affect the relationship, should flow to any related records in another table occurrence. If one of your table occurrences is used as the basis for a layout, as is the case in our example, cascading options will usually be enabled for the other table occurrence. As such, we'll tick the checkbox that begins with delete related records. This means that if we delete the wholesaler, all of the contacts associated with it will also be deleted. Finally, we'll also tick the checkbox that begins with allow creation of records. This allows us to create records via the relationship, meaning that when viewing a wholesaler, we'll be able to add contacts that will automatically be populated with the related fields, in this case the wholesaler ID field. If you'll forgive the cliché, portals are, at least for this video, the final piece of the puzzle. Essentially, portals allow us to view and manage a one-to-many relationship via a layout. In our example, this means that when editing or viewing a wholesaler, we'll be able to see and edit all the related contacts in the portal. To begin, find the wholesaler layout and click Edit Layout. Select the Portal tool from the tool pane up the top and draw it on stage. FileMaker will then display a Portal Setup dialog. First, select the table occurrence containing the related records. In our case, this is the REL underscore contact table occurrence. Next, select your desired options. We want, firstly, to allow the deletion of portal rows, and secondly, a vertical scroll bar. That's it, you're done. Select OK and the portal will be created. Once you exit edit layout mode, you'll be able to view and edit all of the related contacts pertaining to a wholesaler. Thanks for watching this Real Evolution FileMaker video. We hope to see you again soon.